Hi there. I'm just going to uh, shoot a quick video on uh, on greasing the jack shaft and the drive shaft bearing. Uh, I'm working on my son's 2013 Indy uh, SP 600, and uh, I know there's a. I know I've up until last year uh, there was some confusion uh, on uh, how to grease the uh, drive shaft bearing, which is the lower one here. So. Obviously, uh, I've had to remove the primary and the secondary clutch. Uh, secondary is just held on by uh, the bolt that goes in the end of the shaft. Primary, you uh, obviously have to uh, purchase the uh, proper clutch puller uh, to take that off. And, uh, and every year I do this, and you can tell that it's time to uh, time to do the motor mounts again as well. So. Uh, but back to the drive shaft bearing. So up until last year, um, the way that I uh, greased the drive shaft bearing um, was on the outer race here. There was two little, two little holes, and uh, and what you're supposed to do in the manual is on this cup, this cup, this cup fits on here like that around the six bolts, and you'll see that that little grease fitting. So what it does is it pumps a bunch of grease right into there, into inside the cup. And then little holes on the outer race are somehow supposed to pick up the grease when it's going around and feed it uh, inside. Now the stock bearing that came on it uh, had a metal shield. I pressed this, uh, this new bearing on last year and when I pick it up at the dealer, um, to my surprise, uh, it came with a rubber seal. Same as what the jack shaft bearing is. So, a jack shaft bearing every year, um, in the beginning of the year, I'll take a little screwdriver and uh, and I'll peel out that uh, that rubber seal, and I will uh, clean out the old grease and use a little needle greaser on the end of my grease gun and uh, put in uh, the appropriate amount of new grease. So this bearing uh, has uh, 10,000 kilometers on it. That's how many kilometers are on this sled. Uh, last year there was a little bit of play in the drive shaft bearing so uh, I replaced it uh, and as you can see, uh, I'm gonna try to get in there, that is approximately 2,000 kilometers my son, my son rode last year. Uh, he's only 13, so he doesn't do a whole lot of miles, but he does enough. Uh, you can see that it's still, uh, the grease that comes in it is white. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of contamination in that in there, so that's good. Uh, but now, what I'll be able to do is the same as what I can do with the jack shaft bearing. If you get the new bearing from the uh, dealer, is you can uh, pop off that rubber seal. You can clean out the uh, existing uh, grease if it's uh, contaminated. That actually doesn't look too, too bad. So I'll uh, probably just squirt a little bit more uh, grease into the bearing. Uh, I'll look at it a bit more when I stop filming and then decide if I'm going to clean it or not. And then uh, repack it and put the rubber seal back on. Put this uh, metal cup back on and that'll be it. And hopefully the uh, I'll get as long a life on this bearing as I did on the uh, on the jack shaft bearing. So anyway, just thought I'd shoot a quick video um, showing how you can uh, uh, prevent uh, some issues on the trail by uh, doing some regular maintenance.